Hi, this is tutorial number four of Dynamic Temporal Network Part 2 uh, about importing with static files on epidemic spreading on the dynamic network. Uh, our data uh, come from this paper, What's in a Crowd? Analysis of Face-to-Face -face Behavioral Network. Uh, this, net, this paper examines uh, dynamics process for epidemic spreading in a social network or so human mobility. So data uh, covers 69 days, uh, more than two months, and um, each node represents visitors of a certain uh, science gallery, and edges uh, represent face-to-face -face proximity between the concerned persons. So it means the researchers <clears throat> uh, want to examine the pattern of contacts of uh, concerned peoples, pe concerned people in certain area, and each edge has weight. Uh, the weight means the number of contacts. So if the uh, node A and node B meet three times, the weight will be three. This is these are our data files. So each file. Uh, means the, the contacts on one day. So it, it, the, the, the data file will be 69. But problem is this is GML file. So look at that GML file. Uh, let's open with, uh, with um, notepad. <clears throat> As you can see, the GML file contain this information. First of all, directed network or indirected, undirected network, and nodes information, and edge information. But GML file can't capture time, so it's not good format for dynamic network. So we need to convert this GML file to the, the better format for a dynamic network. The format will be <coughs> GEXF file format. You can see the GEXF file is descri describing complex networks structure and it will capture dynamics. So we're gonna <coughs> convert the GML file to GEXF file. To convert GML file, uh, we need to use Gephi. So <clears throat> Gephi can open almost all uh, graph files, so it opens GML file as well. So choose File, Open, mm, here GML file, mm. There you go. So, <clears throat> it's, as you can see, dynamic graph is no. So let's open the GML file. This it shows a network, and then we need to use export here. Export graph file, and we can choose GEXF file. So we can convert GML file to GEX file with GAPHI. Once you convert GML file to GEXF file, then we need to change some something in the in the file. So let's open this GEXF file with notepad. It contains lots of information and look at the number seven here. <clears throat> So when you convert uh, the GML file, you can find the undirected file. Actually, it is a directed file, but it shows undirected file. And mode is static. It means it's not dynamic file. So we need to change this line to here. So graph mode is slice because this is one of our some the static files. So uh, graph mode slice. And 
uh, our file uh, is about uh, directed network, so change directed. And then about time, uh, we need to choose timestamp. Uh, in the previous tutorial, I, I, I explained the difference between timestamp and time interval. So in this case, we need to choose timestamp because each file capture one day, not interval. And the next one is timestamp number one. It means this is our first file in our lot 69 GML files. So we need to choose number one. And next one will be number two. And the next one, number three, and keep going. So let's check the second file. Uh, here so you can see number two and will be next one will be three uh, I converted uh, from April 28th to May 18th so 21 files so we have 69 files is too many for this tutorial so I just choose 21 okay let's move to a cafe file open and then to GEXF file from the first one to the last one and open. So we need to merge all of our files so choose merge into new works space and OK. Here <clears throat> we have dynamic network you can see the enable timeline <clears throat> click here so this size the time window so we can see the changes in network and then uh, just change uh, nose How about nose color uh, nose color is a little bit pink and uh, this one's better. And then size, ranking, how about choose degree. And then it is dynamic network, so let's choose the auto apply. I explained this one in the previous tutorial. And edge uh, ranking, we have weight, so choose weight. Oops. Oh, just okay and color is green maybe i can change uh this one and apply and this no, edge is too small so let's change the edge size choose use this one this is about edgy uh, you can change able uh, label and global with this menu now uh, let's change the look at the time and then uh, let's also use auto apply and uh, <clears throat> it also I explained in the previous tutorial choose this one and set time format as you can see this we have three options but um, with our files each file uh, represent one day, so let's choose date. So, yeah, so um, this is day one, day two, day four. To go on, we will be left here, probably day 21. So, we resize the, the time window about day one, and then uh change the layout because it's too crowd so uh, let's choose we find who proportional so uh, there are some parameters just look we just we can see the two one this is 100 about choose one yes but it's too crowd so too close each other how about 200 uh, a little bit better and then uh, about choose number three uh, three 
yes we can see edges as well and then here okay, yeah so uh it, this par the explanation about about parameter you can you can click here you can find this explanation so uh it's good for to, it's good explanation to choose layout uh one thing is if you want to choose I mean, you can you can choose uh, any layout you want but i don't recommend force atlas and force atlas 2 for this dynamic network oh, sorry say this dynamic network because it's too slow it's a very good uh layout but Force Atlas and Force Atlas 2 is too slow, so it's not good for dynamic network, I think. So choose different one. For me, I just choose if and who proportional. And then here we can see the the, the pattern of contact and the change this one. So we can we can compare the uh the patterns of contacts of concerned people in in and each day. So like day eight, day nine, to so different pattern. So you can see there's some cluster, different pattern here. So this big weight and then look at let's see the pattern. Yes, this is more looks dangerous because everyone is this very uh very big weight and they're very close to each other so on the day 11 also different pattern yeah so uh this dynamic network uh, can show us the the various pattern of of, of pe people contact so it can show how dangerous or how vulnerable of that place or which day is more vulnerable or which place is more vulnerable to some epidemic disease or epidemic infection okay this is uh for tutorial number four mm, maybe next time we can tweet if you are interested in twitter data maybe you can deal with Twitter data in Gaffey. Yeah. Maybe. Thank you.